tops. our county and also make a resolution as to what we'll take as civil society network members in the county. Uh, thank you very much. Yes. Okay. But we do you introduce myself personally or we just say uh, this is an alarm, a signal to them that we have tried all the means even you. I think to close it, we'll do a formal communicate to the governor yeah. out of this. We'll do a formal communicate to the governor. <laughs> <laughs> so that when we move to the next level, we are clear in our path. Thank you. Thank you. Go, go in. Okay. You will start from here, Cindy. Yes, yes, yes. Okay. So we begin to now, Zaja. We must have some empowerment. Okay. Solution. Thank you for your participation. Sorry, we wanted to start so that we don't take much of your time. It's still okay, no worries. Sasa, it's still okay, imagine, no worries. Nimeongeza hii, Ju? Yeah. I work at Tembea Youth Center for Sustainable Development, who is a member of Sia County CSO Network. Now, uh, as a CSO in Sia, we would like to state uh, as follows on the matter. We re-emphasize that ultimate consequences of invoking Article 192 is the ballot and that all the leaders, both in the assembly and the executive, would have to go back to the ballot and we shall launch a signature collection a campaign in all the 30 wards to petition the president to suspend the county government of Siaya. We call out ODM party to take charge and rein the rogue leaders, especially the Siaya county leadership. They are the enemy of the people. The assembly leaders, and together with the MCS, have raped and injured our beloved county of Siaya. We demand that the county government of Siaya, both the executive and the assembly, to salvage the situation and put the needs of the people first. <clears throat> it is clear that the grid has taken the place of service delivery and development. In, uh, and development. Uh, this alone puts the devolution under heavy threat. The people of Kenya in general and the people of Sierra County in this particular instance deserve effective service delivery, which as we speak is paralyzed in Sierra. Lastly, we demand, Governor, uh, we demand Governor His Excellency James Orengo to take charge of the county, put in the right system that can facilitate effective service delivery, provide adequate feedback, engage uh, with the people of Siaya and promote accountability in public resource utilization. Working with the county assembly of Siaya is not a bad idea, but it must be in good spirit to the people in terms of service delivery. Do not collude with the county assembly to bring Siaya County to a standstill by serving their interest. We are giving the county government of Siaya, ODM party, the speaker of Siaya and the governor three weeks after which we shall launch signature collection. We also ask people of Siaya to stand with us to ensure we bring justice in Siaya. Thank you so much. And assigned by the uh, members of the County Assembly, uh, County CSO Network, Siaya. Thank you. And uh, my name is Shalina Diambo. I'm the Executive Director at Siaya Mungano Network. And this is our statement. With the undersigned human rights organizations and defenders of devolution in Siaya, representing the interest of different groups of people in the county who are women, youth, persons with disabilities, business community, older persons, the transport sector, amongst others. 
are aggrieved by the current happenings in the county government of Siaya, which is affecting good governance and accountability, as well as adherence to the Constitution of Kenya 2010 and its tenets of devolution. We further take great exemption to what is currently happening in Siaya, where we've had situations of service delivery being completely grounded due to continuous fight over the control budgets and tender opportunities between the County Assembly of Siaya, which is led by Honorable George Okode on one side, as well as the governor on the other side, who is James, His Excellency James Orengo. So as Siaya County Civil Society Network, we are keen to respect and adhere to the constitutional principles and provisions that relate to devolution and we recognize that as elected leaders, they only hold sovereign power on behalf of the people of Sierra County and Kenya at large. Secondly, counties exist so that they, are, they serve the people, not themselves or their leadership. And right now it is horrific to witness a scenario where our leaders have assumed duties which were not conferred to them by the Constitution of Kenya. And this has led to them putting their self-interest <coughs> above service to the people of Sierra, which is not right. We bring to the attention of the people of Siaya, those who are in the diaspora, as well as the media who are with us today, the Senate and the country at large, the following pertinent matters that are affecting service delivery and good governance in Siaya. And therefore, as civil society organizations in Siaya, we shall officially launch a signature collection from the electorate to petition the President of the Republic of Kenya under Article 192 to suspend the county government of Siaya. So as the Siaya County CSOs, we are aware that Sierra County budget for the financial year 2023-2024 was delayed, and this has been fiddled by the County Assembly of Sierra, as well as the controller of budget had given advisory on the, same, on the same matter via letter that was dated 8 September 2023. And we realized that both the executive and the assembly are supposed to work together to prudently and justifiably allocate resources that have already been allocated to the county, which should not be a situation of vertical sharing of revenue, but merely about leaders putting their personal interest above the interest of the people. And these funds are for the people of CIA, not for the executive or for the assembly. Secondly, existing impeachment threats to the CCMs who don't comply to the blackmail by the assembly. We have already seen a situation where the Dr. Julio Nyango, who is the former CCM for water, had been impeached. And uh, currently there are four county executive members who are in line for impeachment including the CCM for Finance, who plays a critical role in the county budget process. The impeachment of the CS for Finance, who is the head of the county treasury, would mean that the county grounds to a halt and that no services would be provided to the citizens of CIA. Thirdly, MCAs have taken over budget making process, implementation and oversight. The MCAs have adopted weekly summons to CCMs, and the summon is used as a, as a way of looking for tenders that can be awarded to the MCAs and their cronies. MCAs are using their authority and self-interest to implement projects that are not even in the approved budget and plans to insert the projects in the supplementary for payments. This is common in majority of the wards, including West Sakwa, Sierra Township, East Assembo, Central Alego, South Sakwa, West Game and West Ugenya, where we realize that contractors are already on site. They're working on roads, yet the roads are not budgeted and have not even been tendered. And therefore, MCS decide on projects and throw out the people's proposals made during public participation. The County Assembly of CIA has also dehonored sectoral committee and standing committee, and now everything has been reduced to an illegal general oversight committee. This committee is a conduit for blackmailing and siphoning money from the executive. Fifth, the assembly is already being managed as a family enterprise, where we find that both the clerk and the speaker are blood relatives. The MCS in CIA have killed the role of ward administrators in the wards and made ward admins puppets without a say on what happens in the wards. In section 51, subsection 3 of County Government Act, the ward admins are given the responsibility to coordinate, manage, and supervise administrative functions in the ward. And this no longer happens since, they play, despite the fact that the ward admins play a significant role as required in this section of uh, the County Government Act, MCAs have taken over the control of ward operations especially the project implementation in the wards, including vetting of bursaries, and they therefore bulldoze admins to follow their instructions. The County Assembly of CIA and the Executive have irregularly inserted pending bills that do not exist in the financial year 2023-2024 budget, which is one of the issues that was raised by the controller of budget in the letter dated 8 September 2023. And lastly, service delivery has collapsed in CIA due to failure of the Executive to take up its role of implementation. 
and we find that we are in a situation where the assembly is, um, the executive is funding the assembly who have an insatiable diet, greed, sorry. Thank you. Thank you so much. Uh